All right, let's do a little workshop tour. Here we are. This is about as tidy as it gets. Got everything pushed back into the side. We've got lots of space in the middle here. But over here, pushed back, we've got my pole lathe. We've got some tools on the wall behind that for the lathe. Haven't used the lathe for a while though. Here we've got my steam bending equipment, steamer and box. Those have been used quite a lot recently. And then just tucked out of the way, we've got my chopping block, spoon mule and shave horse, and my little block for splitting things. Little blanks humidor, keeping my blanks fresh. Tucked around my comfy chair, which I do like. I've got a whole bunch of bags filled with bits of work in various stages. And I've also got some of my camera equipment, tripods and light stands and things tucked back there. The whiteboard reminding me things to do, such as tidy up. Here we've got the big workbench. At the moment, we've got a whole bunch of spatulas drying they've been steam bent they need to sit in their forms for a while up here are the tools i use most often a couple of axes adds draw knife hook knives and straight knives shelves are a bit of a mess at the moment got little bits and pieces that get kind of an intermediate amount of use in the cabinets we've got a few different things in this one we have my gouges are along the top there i want to hang them up eventually but i haven't got around to that in this blue box uh, tools that kind of get used infrequently and I've got my splitting implements, my frome wedges. Down here, that big blue box is for the farmer's market. That has most of my farmer's market table set up in there. And then I've got some fancy looking pieces of wood that I've saved. That I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with. But too much of a wood hoarder to throw them away. Little Japanese saw and a brush. On the, uh, on the door there. Oof, that was loud. And then in here, we've got a little compass and bendy ruler. Where they live. Got my camera equipment, light bits and pieces. In this box are my teaching tools. So spare axes, straight knives and hook knives. And then down here, we've got my little electric chainsaw and a variety of finishes, mainly linseed oil. And then in the last one, we've got my Tormek is tucked down there, little jug of water and some uh, spray bottles, jug of waters for the Tormek. And we've got more sharpening supplies up here. We've got some uh, strops, boxes with some random stones in, and then more strops and my uh, DMT sharpening stones. Up here we've got the Tormek accessories, and then I've got my Japanese water stones are back there. Uh, and I've got a fancy little sharpness tester that's really fun to play with. Moving on, got the wood stove, source of heat for in here, which is handy because uh, it's not super cold outside right now, but it's not a nice working temperature, but inside, pleasant enough. Then we've got my bandsaw, 
I use this quite a lot for uh, roughing out my blanks, which is useful because I can be a bit more efficient with my wood. I can get offcuts that can then be turned into other things. Chop back that's like basically dust control for the bandsaw. Another little workbench that has holes in it for the holdfasts. And then I've got a nice little clamp here. That's that's good for holding all sorts of different things. More clamps. Got a couple of planes for rough work where usually I want to just push rather than pull with the draw knife. And I've got a little drill press down there that gets a bit of use every now and again. Along the front doors here is scrap wood mostly. That log is going to be split up into billets but those paper bags have wood shavings in it and then we've got billets that were kind of too small or twisty to be used and a bin full of offcuts that are drying and will eventually be burned and that's pretty much it. There's also an attic space but it's kind of scary up there so <laughs> I'm not going to show you that today. Uh, maybe. Cool.